Hey everyone, welcome to Your Virtual Coffee, the web show which introduces you to great local businesses in the Denver metro area. I'm so excited for today. Today's guest is my friend Janelle Orion. In 2016, she started Shine Bright Marketing to help women feel good about their business, offering not just marketing strategy, positioning and analytics, but also technical savvy, hand-holding, a global perspective, and an East Coast with a smile attitude. And with that, Janelle, welcome to my show. Thanks, Gina. It's so great to be here. Now, Janelle, based on my research, you have some very interesting hobbies. Would you share about them? Sure. My hobbies are actually constantly evolving. So I laughed uh, when I saw this question because I was like, oh, I've got new hobbies now. Uh, so my 2021 new hobbies are I'm stepping into my fears and I've taken, I'm sorry, taking singing lessons. And I am about to embark on learning how to ride a motorcycle. So those are two of my most recent hobbies, but I've also spent a lot of time in the past several years scuba diving into some of the most uh, beautiful places in the world and adventure travel the world over, I would say. The style of music that you're working on, what is that? So I'm actually was drawn to it based on like sacred medicine songs, so okay. acapella and really like spiritual and heartfelt music that it kind of moves your soul. Like it, the type of music that you almost know before you've heard it because your soul somehow has heard it. And that is, um, so like Rising Appalachia would be like a band, um, I, beautiful chorus. Believe it or not, I am familiar with that band. Do you know if you're an alto or soprano? Uh, not yet. I, I, I've literally taken two classes so far and I'm still just learning. I have, I have a big range apparently. That's what I've learned. I would also love to hear about the motorcycle training. How are you, what are the steps that you're doing to um, make that happen? Well, I, you know, Google's amazing. So I just like did a search on uh, motorcycle lessons. So I'm going to get my license through a company, I think it's called Iron Bus. They're out in Aurora, they do a three-day class. And so this way I'll get some basic skills. And then I have a, a friend who rides and she has an instructor that works on taking women out off-roading so that we can utilize our bodies, or I guess we just, she just says we use our bodies differently than men do on a motorcycle because Men can kind of use their arms where women have to use their hips a little bit more to like navigate. So I'm going to do that. And then the goal is to do some pretty cool road trips in other countries. It's interesting you mentioned that because there is a travel writer. I enjoy reading her books. Her name is Polly Evans. And the last book of hers that I read she went to New Zealand and she always goes, she always travels the country on different modes of transportation. Mm -hmm. Like when she went to Spain, she did it via a bicycle. When she went to China, she did it via train. And so when she went to New Zealand, she did it via motorcycle. And so you kind of get to read about, you know, how she struggled because she was new to it. Mm -hmm. um, and just, I think she's a great writer. So I would, mm -hmm. I would um, recommend you checking it out. The name of the book escapes me, but the author's name is Polly Evans. She's British. Okay. And not only does she talk about her adventures, she talks about the food that she has there. So it's One a win-win. Win. travel. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, Shine Bright is a marketing company. What drew you, Janelle, to marketing? In terms of business, it was an area that was the most relationship focused. And, you know, we think, oh, we've got to sell ourselves and promote ourselves. But in terms of the marketing that I have always done, and I work with small businesses, it's always been it's so much about relationships. And how, how do we present ourselves 
as, as if a solopreneur or our companies, but that so that someone can receive us fully and then and then want to work with us or want our product. And so it was it was relationships. That was the part of business that came naturally to me and drew me in. Now, speaking of relationships, you actually use the term marketing therapist to describe what you do. Could you elaborate on that? Yes, absolutely. I came to that term a couple of years ago when I just realized that for entrepreneurs, right, like our lives are not compartmentalized. You have our, we have our business side and we have our personal side. And if our personal side is having a rough time, well, guess what? It can affect our business side. If we're the ones who are running our business, then our personal side can definitely have an impact. And when you're not feeling great for whatever reason, then it can be really hard to want to market yourself, right? People can like sense um, what's going on with you in an internal state. So I just realized that for me, like marketing is not, it's not in a box. It is very much um, this like interplay between business and personal. And, and that's where the therapy really comes in, right? Because you could be having a bad day and that has to be acknowledged and heard and listened to. So my role often with my clients is, yes, I'm absolutely giving them marketing advice, but I'm also just listening to them and recognizing them as a human and not just as a business owner. So I help them navigate business and marketing and also life with laughter and grace and handholding and um, someone who encourage the, encourages them to, to know that they're, they're not alone in what they're trying to do. Well, speaking of that client, what is an issue that would keep them up at night and how do you solve that for them? The, the, one of the main things that people, that keeps people up at night is actually that they think they need a website. And oftentimes that's what actually gets them to like pick up the phone or write an email to say, hey, I need help. And, or they, they you know, call a friend or a colleague and say, oh, this is what I know that I need. And so that's the problem that they think that they have. But then actually, once we start talking, the website, in my opinion, is often the last thing that needs to be done. Once I dive a little bit deeper, I recognize, act, you know, what you don't have yet is you don't actually have your brand messaging down or you don't have your services offering down really clearly. And so all of those things are necessary to actually put on the website. So there ends up being a lot of steps that have to happen that they're just not aware of because they, you know, the final product is easy. It's a website, it's very tangible, but there's a lot of um, unearthing and formalizing some of the other aspects of business um, before a website can actually happen. Would it be correct to say having a website would be part of the tactic side? Yeah. And your marketing plan would be the strategy side. Yes, exactly. So how, like, how is that website fitting in to your overall plan, right? And, but, and also then what is necessary? What's the content you're putting on a website, right? Like, okay, you're going to say, here's what your offering is. Well, is your offering dialed in? Is your pricing dialed in? Do you know that your offering is hitting your target audience? Is your messaging about your offering talking to your target audience? Do you know who your target audience is? These are all questions that have to be answered before you really get to a website. What happens a lot of time, and this is where I say people just like throw spaghetti at the wall or they get lots of inquiries about tactics. And so they'll say, okay, I'll do that. I'll do an SEO or I'll do, I'll do a Facebook ad, right? And then yet they don't have this strategy, this overarching strategy in place to help them understand where does that fit in? And then how do I measure whether it's working or not? Otherwise, you're just investing the money and you don't know where the money's going. My main product that I actually offer my clients to start is called Getting Your MBA, Your Marketing Baseline Assessment. It's a one-month program where we meet once a month, uh, once a week over Zoom, and we do a deep dive together into your marketing. Now, but not only the marketing tactics that you're doing, and the, but you're also your marketing data. What data are you collecting and what data are you not collecting? So what I help you do, and at the end of that month, 
I present to you a customized marketing plan that outlines, here's the data that you're collecting, here's the data that you should be collecting, and then how you can use that to help guide your marketing decision. And again, the most important thing is with all things marketing, right? I take all those things and narrow them down to the three things that you need to do right now to move your business farther, faster. Janelle, let's talk about power partners. Mm -hmm. And for our audience, power partners are those businesses who target the same ideal client as you, but are not your competition. Mm -hmm. An example I like to use, a really basic one, is a mortgage broker and a real estate agent because they both target that potential or future homeowner, but they don't compete with each other. In fact, it's a relationship where they can help each other while helping that same client. And so it's a great way to build your business without selling because you're building relationships, much like Janelle, just you just spoke about earlier in marketing. But in order to understand or determine who your power partners are, we need to talk about ideal client. So Janelle, who is your ideal client? I work with mostly corporate executives who have left corporate America and have become coaches or consultants or are out on their own. And they, more so than industry specific, they just realize they don't understand marketing. And they've been in business for a while, a year or two or three, and they're now ready to invest in marketing and they just don't know where. They may have been burned, they may not have trust, but they know that they need it and need someone to help them understand the, their next step. So it sounds like to me, people who also target that specific client would be people who maybe do other pieces of that of things that fall under the umbrella of marketing, mm -hmm. but are not necessarily the strategizing like what you provide. So I'm thinking web developers. Mm -hmm. Web developers. One of my closest power partners is actually a brand messenger. So she does all of the writing for someone, for their website, for their email campaigns, for their um, collateral. And then, but I'm the one who has, this, who that fits into the strategy piece. Okay. I think you're right. I, I would think also graphic designers mm -hmm. yes. would be another one because you do what you do really well. You, you know, work with them on that strategy, but then there's pieces that are part of that strategy that you build those relationships with those um, business owners. Right. And another piece would be I work with social media um, companies that that do the execution and the implementation of social media. But that, again, like if they don't know what the goals are of the company, right, if you can just say, hey, here's here's 50 bucks a month to run a Facebook ad. Well, that social media company doesn't understand, like, what's the overarching goal that we're trying to do. So that's another power partner. So, Janelle, let's. Let's talk about that ideal client who is watching this interview and they're like, mm -hmm. I need to speak to Janelle because she senses my pain. She knows how to help me. What is the best way for them to reach out to you? They are welcome to email me at Janelle at shinebrightmarketing.com or you can call me at 303-548-4731 and I'm happy to talk to you. And you're also on LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn as well. And um, my website is shinebrightmarketing.com. And we will include slides at the end that will have not only your contact information, but also who your ideal client is and who your power partners are. Okay. So if you're watching out there and you're like, oh yeah, that's me, contact Janelle, okay? Mm -hmm. Any last you, thoughts? Yeah. No worries. Any last thoughts? I just, yeah, I just want to say thank you to you, Gina, and to say, getting the word out there. It's, it's, and this is an example, like, of, of power partnering and relationships, right? Like, you're offering your services and your platform to help promote other companies. 
And that is a really generous thing to do and hopefully benefits you as well. Cause that's, that's also the point of it. It isn't to be completely <laughs> just giving away your time, but it is, um, it's one of the things I really enjoy um, about marketing is that it can be relationship based just like this. Oh, I definitely agree with that. Cause I think it boils down to relationships that lead to referrals. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what I tell my customers all the time is that like for the, for the types of companies and, and people that I am working with, which is that the vast majority of your business is going to come from word of mouth. And we know this, but you can actually put a strategy to word of mouth. You can put a strategy to a referral process. And that is the fastest and easiest and most cost-effective way to grow your business. Well, Janelle, thank you so much for coming on my show today. I really appreciate it. I loved hearing about you, about Shine Bright Marketing, and how I can introduce you to Power Partners if, um, if I can. Mm -hmm. Thank you, audience, for watching today. We could not do this show without you. Thank you for watching. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Your Virtual Coffee. We love business professionals. So business people, let's talk. Bye, everyone. Your Virtual Coffee is sponsored by Ventola Law. Ventola Law, mediation and legal representation at an expert level. You can find them at VentolaLaw.com. Thanks for joining me today. For more information on Your Virtual Coffee, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and wait for it, our website at YourVirtualCoffee.com. Thanks again for watching and have an incredible day.